Hey guys, my name's Aaliyah. I am here with the artist scuba diving today to talk about this cosmic computer by Deep Blue. I was sent this computer by Cosmic and I wanted to give it a try and I took it on a couple dives in cenotes, saltwater in Cozumel, and in lake dives. So I think I have a pretty good idea of what I think about this computer now. When you get the Deep Blue, it comes in the hard clamshell case. It comes with the computer, bungee, USB cable, some screen protectors, some stickers, and a manual. The wrist straps here aren't like ultra luxurious, but they're really easy to switch out. I'm thinking that I might rock some purple wrist straps soon and, and get that going for me, and I can change this out with anything I want. They also give you like bungee cords in case you want to switch that out too. So let's talk about the screen. The screen is awesome. As you can see, it is, whoop, it is a light up LED display. I'll put some some shots of it in action and underwater it's amazing especially in murky environments cave diving it's always bright and lit up and you can see everything crystal clear you don't really have to shine your flashlight on it or anything like that i was holding my flashlight my camera and it was such a relief to be able to just kind of look at my computer and see what was going on in it so when you're at the surface or in direct sunlight there's a glare you kind of have to go like this to see what's going on in the screen once you're underwater it's bright colorful and really cool the next thing, the battery. I'd have to say the battery is the biggest con of it. You kind of have to treat this like a battery like you would your iPad or your Fitbit or something like that. It is an electronic device with an LCD screen so you would have to charge it. The charger is magnetic and as you can see it connects to the computer just like that. You want to make sure it's nice and secure or else it can fall off. I ended up charging mine every single night but I let it run to dead just to see how many dives it would take. It took about five dives over the course of three days. Granted, I was diving for about an hour and 20 minutes each time, but if you're on a liveaboard or a destination that might not have plugs, or if you're just a forgetful person, this might not be the best computer for you. I kind of added it into my rotation, plugging in my camera, my GoPro, and now my dive computer, so I was happy to kind of remember everything. This computer has three modes. It's got air, nitrox or free dive, free dive mode. I used all three modes and was really pleased actually. Um, the free dive mode even has a max depth and max time alarm and as a new free diver like myself I found that really useful. The Cosmic is a, on the conservative side big time and it has tons of alarms. Whether or not you like them is kind of besides the point because you can't really shut those alarms off. I compared the Cosmic with a bunch of computers on different dives and I'd wear one on each wrist and I looked at the Cosmic versus another computer and I found that for ma the majority of the computers the Cosmic does stay more conservative. So if you're a diver that dri dives close to deco limits or does a lot of deco diving, this isn't the best computer for you um, because the screen really isn't great when it comes when you're close to decompression. It kind of just lights up with a big CEL and it has your deco time and a tiny little screen. Uh, the only other thing that I would point out about the screen is that when you have your dive time or safety stop, you see it in really tiny little letters. It doesn't it doesn't come across the big giant screen. So those of you guys that need reading glasses or bifocals might be squinting at the computer a little bit. They upgrade the firmware constantly. From when I got it to now, they now have an altitude diving feature. So if you keep it, I mean, you just update everything through the app and the computer just keeps getting better and better and better as new things come out. So we talked a little bit about the specs of this computer, but let's talk about the social media. So what's so cool about this computer, I mean this computer, is it the best computer in the world? No. But what it's connected to in the social media is awesome. You download the Deep Blue app, make a login through Facebook, and I will show you how it works. Let's jump in. So after a long day diving, this is what I'm going to do after I'm home. I'm going to make sure Bluetooth is on so we can go ahead and connect our computer to the app and upload our dive logs. So when you log in, you're kind of going to see like a Facebook timeline, but we're going to go over to Menu and click Cosmic. When you click Cosmic, that's going to be looking for your Cosmic computer. So follow the directions on the screen, press the button on the left until you get the sync mode and it will sync right up. Remember, your computer can store about 25 dives, so you want to make sure that you're doing this pretty frequently so you don't have any dives lost in the cloud. Cool, new logs found, let's check them out. We're gonna log the j dive on July 12th, 2017. I went for a cold and murky lake dive in the middle of Texas. 
it's already logged kind of where I was last, so we can go ahead and change that location. So we're gonna go ahead and find the United States. Oh, there it is. And, whoa, there's tons of dive sites in the States. Um, I'm gonna pick Texas. Kinda caught my eye that there's other dive sites in Texas. I'm gonna use this app as a way to check out where else I can dive in my backyard. So Texas Lake Travis and I was at Windy Point. Perfect. You have the option to rate the dive site, but you don't have to. I'm gonna rate it a four. Cool, so now we can see my profile, max depth, dive time, how cold it was, and let's change what kind of gear I was using. I came up with about 90 bars, so we'll put that in there. And I definitely was wearing a shorty. I wish I was wearing a wetsuit, but I was wearing a three mil shorty. But I'm gonna add some notes about what I saw. I was diving with a GUE diver yesterday, so that was pretty interesting. I'm gonna record that here. It's really cool to be able to log, you know, what you saw, what you felt on the dive. I mean, gone are the days of having to write it in an old notebook and trying to keep it dry. After that's all done, we hit submit. After you submit it, you can see that it pops up on your page. You can click the map, see exactly where you were diving, and scroll through and see the rest of your logs. I'm gonna go back to the home page and kind of check out what's going on in the deep blue world. You can like a picture, you can put a comment, and you can even check out some groups. Join our group at the Art of Scuba Diving. What's new? Oh, awesome, Justin posted a frogfish episode. I love frogfish, you can definitely leave a comment there too. With this app, you can browse buddies, pages, locations, and see every dive site pretty much in the entire world. Check out this article on how to be an eco-friendly diver. I could probably spend hours on this thing. After you're done, hit log out and plan your next dive. So as you can see, the UI of the app kind of looks like your Facebook timeline. Um, even if you don't have the Cosmic computer, I definitely recommend joining Deep Blue and downloading the app. I saw somebody post a picture in Bonaire. The next day I know somebody commented that they were in Bonaire and then all of a sudden there was a dive meetup. So that's really cool. They do contests, giveaways, and you can find out about the coolest, newest, latest dive news, gear, fish, everything you want on the app. It's kind of like a Facebook just for divers. Honestly, I stopped logging my dives a few years ago, but now that I have this app, I think I'm gonna start because it's so much fun to kind of drop pins all around the world where you've dived. It can hold up to 25 logs at a time, so you need to make sure that you're uploading after every dive weekend or dive trip. So in conclusion, this is the Cosmic computer that has a bunch of different modes and an awesome screen. I was sent this by Cosmic to review and honestly I can say that I really recommend it. If you are a recreational diver and you don't dive that much off the grid, tech or deep, then this is the perfect computer for you. If you do a lot of freshwater diving, tech diving, deep diving or diving off the grid, I wouldn't say this is the best computer because of you having to charge it and it not being able to hold that many dives. If you do a lot of diving in murky water or night diving, this is the perfect computer because you're gonna be able to read it and see it anytime without fiddling with your flashlight or doing anything like that. The screen is bright, stays lit, and is awesome to see underwater. I definitely do recommend this computer. It retails for $299 and you can find it on the Deep Blue website. The cons are it's battery life and that it's a little bit hard to see in the surface, but the pros including how easy it is to use, how bright it is underwater, and the social media aspect is awesome. I I really look forward to seeing other people diving with this and adding them to my buddy page on the Deep Blue app. Even if you have a computer that you love and you aren't going to get the Cosmic, I definitely recommend downloading the Deep Blue app either on Android or iOS and adding me as a buddy and joining our group, The Art of Scuba Diving. We'll see you online and happy diving. Bye.